This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 18, Collisions, Part 15. I want to see, are we still working? Yes. We're working on our great little game. Yours is probably a bit different than mine. That's because we got to customize it. Okay. But we have been working on this. If you don't have this game, you need to go back to, well, Lesson 17, towards the end of it. All right, let's see what we got. Flyer game change colliders. Right now your colliders are, are all rectangles. Switch them over to circles to get more interesting and realistic bounce and collisions. Oh, that's cool. That would make sense. So we've practiced this earlier in the lesson. Do this. Use the sprite.set collider block to change the colliders of your sprite to circles. Set your sprites debug property to true to make sure your game is working the way you want. Okay. Play your game and make sure it's working the way you want. All right, so we got to set colliders, then we got to set debug. All righty. So we only need to set this once, kind of like the bounciness or the size. Our colliders aren't going to be changing once we set them. So let's look for set collider. I'm going to drop this one under coin because I know, for instance, coin doesn't need to be a rectangle, right? It doesn't need to be a rectangle. I want it to be a circle for coin. Um, Actually, though, for like my character, hmm, oh, maybe our character should be a circle. You know what? I'll test out different things. I'm going to go ahead and do variable. Nope. I need to do bug, which may be a world. Here we are, sprite.debug. I'm going to drop this, and I want to see coin. And this is going to equal true, so we can debug. Okay, I'm going to also use this debug thing for my obstacle right here. And this is going to equal obstacle. And then I want to set it equal to true so we can debug. All right, let's see what we got. And you see how, ugh. but you see how our coin has a circle around it. Oh, and that's interesting. What does our ice cream cone have around it? A rectangle. It's hard to see when it's that size but it does have a rectangle around it. So since it does, let's go ahead. I'm going to actually add a debug way up here to character as well. I want to see the shape and what I think of that. Uh, we need it set equal to true. I'm going to hit run and test out. Uh-huh. So it is a square, but I think that the rectangle works. Oh yeah. And the interaction now is much better since we set, I'm going to reset since we set the the obstacle to have a nope the coin to have a circle collider awesome so yeah that's working the way we want to it's now more accurate because it only when it is touching the coin touching the circle does it allow us to take it to, to get a point whereas before if we got the corner of the rectangle that wasn't technically part of the coin we still got the point so awesome all i did was add those debug codes okay and then add a collider. I'm going to actually remove these. Maybe I'll have to add them back later, but we've debugged. I feel confident with that. And I changed up the set collider. Great. Let's keep going.